warrior's path, Ray brings clarity. Beginning of story. I am one of those seekers who do not seek outward revelations of reality, but create a deep experience of inner transformation. I follow the magical path of the warrior at every stage of which, in Castaneto, I look, holding my breath. Who's in the subject will understand what I'm talking about. To have or to dream are different states, and only everyone decides for himself to live in illusions or to look at reality in all its frightening splendor. So, this story is just mine. I open it to those who want to achieve transformation and volitional control without spending years of practical research on what Don Juan Matt is taught. In essence, I will share my own experience, and the forces and allies leading the warrior along the path will open understanding in your hearts. Want to listen, not willing, follow your experience and pure intent. To each his own. It took ten years of his life to study and practice the ideas of Carlos Castaneda. This is the most delightful stage in my development. I will never trade the mystical experience that reality gave for something else more adequate and predictable. In the ordered one there is no magic in mystical comprehension. Without this, life and time turn into the torture of the ordinary. Dullness of feelings, emotions, and creativity comes. That's not mine. Now about the main thing, the transition, and new practice. The breakthrough in search came five years ago. At that moment I stopped on the path. Stuck in the fear stage for three long years. The stop was completely natural and relaxed. There's just nowhere to go. The books of the great Carlos have been read, the ideas of the ancient shamans have been assimilated. The subtleties and nuances of the topic have been gnawed to their core. At gatherings in the esoteric groups of the internet, everything is a dead end. There is no movement or growth. I even thought that the topic of the magic path ended before it could be revealed in its entirety. Stopping seemed to me the end of the path. Being in this position, I longed for a breakthrough. Tried to prescribe peyote seeds over the internet to create his own power platform. But, alas, the Mexican miracle did not take root in Siberia. Then I got carried away with shamanic mushrooms. And this did not bring success, poisoning, and hospital rest. Yes, there were many other things that I don't want to remember. And then, there was a breakthrough in practice. It happened suddenly, without any effort on my part. Quite cast an idiot. In the spirit of the tricks of the Force, as Don Juan Mattis warned about it. While vacationing on Lake Baikal, I met three foreigners. One from the Asa, two others from Germany. All of them are adults and detailed people. Fascinated by esoteric practices, people familiar with the ideas of Carlos Castaneda. We got to know each other, talked, became friends. Learning about my problems, my friends sympathized. They were amazed that I still dream of taste peyote, without finding a full replacement for the Mexican plants of the power. In the process of communication, I was diagnosed with an energy blockage at the level of the parietal plexus of the fibers. The head really bothered me. I was sure that I suffered from meteorological dependence and felt changes in atmospheric pressure. He considered his experiences an ordinary occurrence, but it turned out that this is a blockage and an energy But, In addition, in the conversation it became clear that the American has been practicing Amazonian shamanism for a long time. At the level of controlled dreams, and the accumulation of the energy of intention. I learned many other interesting facts from them during the four days that I spent with them on the shores of Lake Baikal. They came here on a journey to the places of power. Baikal, according to their assurances, is a real funnel of power where you can draw the purest energy in any quantity. And then what? So, it was from these people that I learned about the drug available to everyone. Rape. An ancient means of cleaning channels and meridians of human energy comprehensive product based on natural exotic herbs combined with burnt wood ash. An ancient drug that has been used since time immemorial to treat people and conduct shamanic practices. It does not replace castanate of peyote, but it goes with it in the same direction, helping in unlocking the potential of energy. Rape is a comfortable bridge in reaching new stages on the path of the warrior. Translated, this word means sniff. Like Don Juan Mattis's haste, rape is an ally and a full-fledged medicine of the power capable of giving the seeker the necessary magical impulse. Created according to a shamanic recipe, rape gives a person an unprecedented energy and emotional boost. Like Juan Mata's peyote, this potion is capable of opening up the inner reserves of the human psyche. Remove consciousness from a state of complacency and rational swagger. Rape has a tradition of application, like any ancient method of self-knowledge. Remember the peyote sessions under the roof of Don Juan's Ramada. There was also a ritual and a sequence. The same is the case with rape. And what does it look like? Moving along the path of knowledge, the seeker uses different methods of changing consciousness. 
If rape is used, then a specific approach to organizing the session is applied. Actions can be group and single. Group work with rape involves the interaction of two or more people. Participants choose a presenter and pass him a thin tube in the shape of a letter G. It is called TP. The facilitator extracts several portions of the powder, two snuffs each. Then the presenter inserts one end of the tepi into the participant's nose and sharply blows the drug into the nasal cavity. Then, in the same way, the second sniff of rape is delivered. And so with each participant in the rape session. Single work with rape implies individual practice of the drug the man himself blows a mixture of exotic shamanic herbs into the nasal cavity. This is done with a special tube called curipe. It, like a tube for group practices, has the shape of the letter G, but with a sharper angle at the junction of the two ends. One tip of the cariope is inserted into the nostril, and the other tip into the practitioner's lips. After that, the rape mixture is abruptly blown into the nasal cavity. The second sniff follows the same path. It's that simple. What is the effect of this rape? What does the person feel? When the herbal mixture is inhaled, it falls on the mucous membrane of the nasal cavities. There the active components are revealed with a bouquet of taste, aroma and experiences. A person feels differently. In any case, these are positive sensations that carry deep energetic cleansing. The medicinal mixture does its job. The work of the pineal gland, which is responsible for the synthesis of the spiritual and physical worlds, is enhanced. The boundaries of the world are expanding, and the senses are sharpened to the soft limit. In the practice of self-knowledge and perfection of the spirit, rape allows you to clear the mental field of a person, and achieve a stop of the internal dialogue, calmness, serenity, and fluidity of the moment here and now. Hence the positive progress for those who stopped on the path, favorably increases the strength and dynamics of intention, sharpening concentration. Rape releases energy channels through the cleansing of the nasal sinuses of the skull. Full and deep cleansing of the cavities allows the body's energy to move freely. Saturation of blood with oxygen plus acceleration of the processing of sounds, images, and bodily sensations. All that is so lacking for a person to disperse perception and movement in practice. My experience of using rape. I tried an amazing mixture of shamanic herbs on the very first evening of acquaintance. On the shore of sacred Baikal, an assistant from the Asa injected rape into my body. To say that I felt something incomprehensible is wrong. I felt uneasy, not understanding what awaited me after the snuff. But after blowing in the mixture, I calmed down and began to observe the internal state. There was a feeling of deep meditation. A pleasant fullness was walking in my head. The eyes saw very clearly and clearly. The most delightful sensation is the experience of free breathing and the rapidity of thought in the head. It's a delightful experience later came the feeling of stopping time and space, the realization of the moment here and now. I was celebrating a new experience. I was one with the world around me in the rustle of the black hole waves. I was warned that this type of rape has the ability to help control dreams. The American assured me that at night I would be awakened in a dream. In other words, I was promised controlled dreaming. I did not believe it because for many months, unsuccessfully, I tried to master the method of control, looking at the palms of my hands. I trusted the current of circumstances and ended the evening on a positive note in a friendly company to the guitar melodies of a fading sunset. And at night I got into a dreaming. Many seekers know the difference between dreams and ordinary dreams. Who does not know to read the first three books of Carlos Castaneda from the immortal series The Teachings of Don Juan? So, removing unnecessary details, I report my experience. I saw myself in the workplace, in the office of our company. What was happening was so real that for the first minutes I did not realize that I was dreaming. In the dream, I was alone. All alone, in empty offices and echoing corridors of a high-rise building. I went around and sang a stupid pop song. Then I suddenly realized that I could not be here because I must be on Lake Baikal. I experienced joyful shock and some fear from this discovery. For a long time I pinched myself on the skin of my face, but the vision did not stop. I was asleep in reality. Remembering Don Juan's instructions, he looked at the palms of his hands. Concentrated upon seeing the papillary patterns on the skin of the palms, the clarity of perception is indescribable. I walked in space and performed conscious actions. All objects of the environment were as they should be. I broke my glass especially took it and smashed it. And he, split into several parts, remained in the form in which any self-respecting broken compass. Shards flew everywhere. But I was not worried realizing that this was a dream. He walked everywhere, slammed doors, opened water, and ran up empty stairs. I looked out the windows and saw the streets of a completely empty city. 
No people, no cars, just buildings, trees, and a bottomless azure sky, above it all. A couple of times, the image faded, starting to creep, but I looked at my palms, and the dream returned to its previous state of reality. Later. There was a lot of things later, but this is already my secret, which concerns all of her. Try it yourself. So what is the last thing? Rape is cool, safe and very friendly towards people. This is the softest and most affordable way to achieve changes in the perception of reality. Rape has become my companion in life and knowledge. He is a mystical ally, and an energetic impulse ready to launch in my soul the experiences of the true reality, which I can tell about in other stories. Friends, foreigners, for a long time sent the coveted rape by mail. Supported by advice and recommendations in rape practices. Especially the American Dylan Rast, to whom my special thanks go. I was taught a lot. Now I recommend that you try rape in individual and friendly practices of spiritual self-knowledge. It will be worth it, I assure you. I myself, now, buy rape mixtures in Russia on the internet. I buy from trusted and reliable suppliers of medicinal mixtures of Amazonian shamans. It was the healing and esoteric effect of rape bought from these guys H T T P S wrap up store that helped me overcome the barriers on the path of self-knowledge. It will help you too. After all, the doors of the true reality are open to everyone. Go for it.